Hey, welcome back to part 7 of Nancy Drew, Midnight in Salem. Uh, so we're just here in the museum with Tegan. She just opened up the second floor to the museum for us to investigate. So, let's sneak back there. Oh, spiral staircase. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, let's see what's up here. Uh, looks like a ton of books. Um, anything we can actually read? Huh, not sure. Okay. Uh, how about over here? Cool, cool. Uh, okay, whoa. So, Salem and the Prohibition. <laughs> Oh, the mysterious AW sign that we've been seeing all over. Okay, so that is suspected to be created by bootleggers during the Prohibition. So criminals use the sign of AW stating it stood for another way. Okay, cleverly thinking those opposing strong drinks would believe the AW signs to be proclaiming a meaning to choose another way or lifestyle to choose a turn from the use of spirits. Okay, but it means the use of spirits is what I understand from this. Okay, oh, uh, it's code for another way out. So the sign is carved in trees and hidden markings uh, and were hidden markings used as a sign that marked the path that could lead the way to the hidden tunnels underground so they could smuggle their goods out. Okay. Oh. Alright. So then, wasn't that on the cage around the Book of Apologies? Okay. Huh, curiouser and curiouser. Okay, can we check out this Someone's desk? Someone's a busy bee. Old court protocols, ancestry records, Tegan is really digging deep into the witch trials. Okay, the real evil was in the accusers rather than those accused. Uh, okay. Yeah, and here's a bit more about Nathaniel Hawthorne. He wrote the book The Scarlet Letter, as Tegan mentioned earlier in the last part. <laughs> okay. And then what's this? Reverend Samuel Paris did not apologize. However, he did state in 1694 that he may have been mistaken. I guess he uh, was one of the accusers of the witches. I think. Okay, so he was kicked out of the village, but his family remained. It was rumored in later years of there being an ancestor of Samuel Paris who altered his name to Perry. Okay, so like May and Tegan Perry. So they think they're descended from a witch accuser. So that kind of makes sense why Tegan's so interested in this stuff. Oh, are you a descendant? These are notes on some of the witches, or the accused witches. <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright. Oh. <laughs> um. Here's a pamphlet about the Accused Witches organization. Okay, so I guess AW is Accused Witches and Another Way. Interesting. Yeah, so these people are still mad about what happened to their ancestors. I guess that's understandable. Is that all that's up here? 
Yeah, that is all that I see up here. Um... Okay. Alright. So... I'm thinking next... We should go down to the Hathorn house. Now that we have a key, and do some investigating there. nicer path in the daylight. <laughs> well, it's still a little creepy, but that's good. <laughs> okay. Locked. Locked. And the key. The key should fit. But the door and lock are awry. Oh, the geez. door needs more leverage. Uh, locked. More leverage. Okay. What? Well, so, what are we supposed to do with that? Is this a puzzle? What's this thing? This ought to help me out. Yeah, crowbars can give leverage. Locked. All right. Now this is more like it. <laughs> Yeah, breaking and entering. That's more what we like. Okay. There we go. Now it fits. All right. Uh, hopefully we can get out. <laughs> hopefully the door fits well enough to open later when we need to leave. Uh, A brand new jacket. Who would leave this behind? Well, couldn't it just be Lauren? So we need to inspect the jacket. Um, it's kind of singed, maybe. Or is that dirt? Or... Ooh. Okay. Are there pockets we can look in or something? I don't know what I'm looking for exactly. marks on it. Looks like burn marks or something. Singe marks. Okay. Alright. Wow. This looks like a super old, old, like old-fashioned old style of room. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> oh, but we can't, like, it's read dust. these. Okay. Francis Tuttle needed this medical machine to stay alive. I wonder what will happen to it now. Well, it's probably Francis Tuttle need dusty and singed like everything else in here, so... Francis Tuttle needed I don't. this... I don't know, Nancy. What's this? Oh. Okay. I didn't really see anything we could do in there, really. Oh, I feel like it's not the safe to be up here. <laughs> has burned down. It looks unstable. Not going any further than this. Good call. <laughs> okay. 
like random papers around and stuff. But... An old Ooh. secretary desk. Roaring twenties, maybe. Yeah, this looks promising. Can we not look inside? Oh, not another desk that I don't know how to get into. <laughs> Shouldn't we be able to open this? No? Hmm, I'm confused. <laughs> the walls are still smoldering from the fire. It's making my eyes water. Yeah. It's crazy. There's something peculiar about this mirror. Someone painted laurels on the mirror glass. Mm, yeah, so I wonder if there must be some symbolism to that. Can we take a picture of it? Okay. just takes us back out through the front door. Okay, let's go inside again. I feel like we're not done in here. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we should look at. It doesn't seem like we can look in any of those like cupboards or anything. Francis Tuttle needed this medical What? <laughs> Nancy can see the machine through the wall. Cool. Oh my god, you amp. Ugh. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, gross. we can look at here. Probably missing a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, it's not obvious to me. <coughs> yeah, and this jacket, like what? Oh, here's something. Oh, hello. A business card. Hmm, Brave Random Craft Witch Tours? Huh. Okay. So it's Olivia's jacket? Maybe? Okay. So why would Olivia be here? <coughs> it's I'm leaving her jacket here. This creaking noise is kind of freaking me out. Burned down. Um, the can entire see that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel well, like except... we have to be able to open this desk. Like, no way would we not be able to open it. 
but... Eat that crowbar again. Um, should I use the rusty one? <laughs> no. Okay. Fine. An old sec <sighs> Nancy, just just open the desk. <laughs> just open it. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I might have to look up how to get in here. Like, there's no way that we. Wouldn't open that, right? The walls are still okay. You know, we looked at this mirror. It's almost yeah. I think the laurels are all that's odd about that mirror. So yeah, I don't know what else we can do in here. Huh. Well, maybe we should call the Hardys. See if they have tips. Lean Franks. Useful like that, right? Nancy. Oh, hey. they answered. How's it going? <laughs> Find anything? Nothing. Aside from the weird looks from the woman who lives here, Lauren Holt, I think her name was. To be fair, it looks like we're drilling for oil with all this equipment. Whoa! Cold spot. Grab that EMP meter, Frank. Quickly. Wait, are we in what? the same EMF? place? It says EMF. Yeah, that Wait. one. Wait. <laughs> this one or this one? This one? You're sure? Yes. Because I have these other devices here like ESP or PSN or NASA. Come on, Frank, hurry. God, it's gone. We're going to have to be quicker to catch these paranormal phenomena. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Nancy, forgot to tell you. On the way into town, I spotted surveillance cameras on the outside of the courthouse. Try checking the footage. I'm sure oh, they have cameras tip. on the inside as well. Yeah, good catch. We'll let you know if we catch any phenomena. <laughs> Thanks. Talk soon. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else we can do at this house. Um, yeah. Maybe let's take Frank's advice and... Well, actually... Okay, let's just walk around. Let's see if we can, like, do <laughs> a lap around the house. Okay. No, I don't think we can. Yeah. Okay, this must be... So this is the carriage house, right? So... This is where Lauren actually lives. Okay. A wooden decoration portraying snapdragons. Wonder if snapdragons mean anything. Is this all like flower language or something? Like the laurels and snapdragons. Okay. Um. Yeah, it looks like this is all we can explore around here. Yeah, there's got to be some other stuff that we can see inside the Hathorn House, but I'm not sure what. So, uh, in the meantime, yeah, maybe let's take Frank's tip about the surveillance camera. Let's go back to, like, the courthouse. And if I can find my way back without getting lost. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Yeah, I do like the ambient sounds in this game, like the wind and stuff, like, that's nice. And like the, all the animations. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a different style from the other Nancy Drew games. I also feel like we have not done many puzzles in this game yet. Like, we did the lock opening puzzle, we did the breakfast puzzle, but like, yeah, there's really not many puzzles. It's a lot of conversations with people and like long conversations. But yeah, not a lot of puzzle solving. Kinda that's different. <laughs> As you know, 
I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? That information isn't usually available to the public. I'm afraid I can't just take your word for it. I'll have it taken care of. Oh, okay. So, um, seems like we can't ask him about the surveillance footage. Uh, can we ask... Whoa. What? We don't oh. knock anymore? <laughs> oh yeah, we, we told her we would knock. Okay. Actually, that was Damien Faulkner. He's my intern. Damien. You have an intern. I Isn't that Tegan's boyfriend? He's around. Someone has to make the coffee here. I'm swamped <laughs> most days, and I could barely trust Judge Danforth with a flashlight. Oh, I mean, he's not that inept. <sighs> You're right. That was mean. Anyway, well, he did happen? lock himself in his office. If that's what happened. Uh, okay. See you later. I guess we can't talk to her about anything. Um, maybe we should call our dad? Since he supposedly knows all these people. Hey, Em. How's my girl doing? Hey, Dad. I have a favor I need to ask you. Of course. Shoot. I need to investigate inside the Salem courthouse, specifically concerning the burglary in the evidence room. Do you think you could call Judge Danforth on my behalf and get his permission? Not a problem. You know, this reminds me. Next time you see him, you should bring up the Lake Winnipesaukee Regatta. Dad. Oh my yeah? god. <laughs> Sure thing. Talk soon. That is like their favorite memory together, I guess. I don't know. Well, what's this? You're all set. Great. Oh, good. Thanks, well, that Dad. was fast. You're welcome. Is there anything else? I'm just really proud of you, Nancy. I don't know how often I tell you that. I think it's not nearly enough. Thanks, Dad. Mm, you yeah, know I thanks, it all Dad. Me, right? Oh, now I know that's not true. The judge told me about a certain lock-picking incident. You certainly didn't learn that from me. <laughs> I may have picked up a few extra skills along the way. I'd expect nothing less. Love you, kiddo. Go get him. Oh, our dad's so supportive. <laughs> okay, uh, so this should work now. Judge, everything okay? What in the Sam heck is a Bitcoin? A Bitcoin? It's a cryptocurrency. I don't what? think that's going to explain it, Nancy. It's a decentralized digital currency. <sighs> All these new made-up digital things just go too far, if you ask me. Nothing's ever been wrong with good old American Benjamins. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? Oh, yes, about that. Well, you see, I had it written on a post-it note. Oh, uh, here we go. I seem to have misplaced it. It should be around here somewhere. Feel free to look for it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. I love a good scavenger hunt. Sure. <laughs> we'll just snoop through the judge's office for a post-it note. Hopefully we find some other stuff, too. <laughs> Uh, oh jeez, I'm... <sighs> yeah, I'm finding it difficult to, like, find things in this game. <laughs> I don't know. I must need more practice. Um... Ah! Oh, okay, here we go. Zero, eight, There's one, five. There's a number written on here. Okay. Uh, alright, I think we're just gonna assume that's it then. And then it is, I believe, down this hall, right? Okay, zero, eight, one, five. Nice. Okay, we're in, so this is the evidence room. Huh. What's this evidence list? Um... Oh, okay. So... What looks relevant here? I guess the arson testimony. So, Lauren Holt gave the arson testimony. Uh, it's been checked out by Alicia. Okay, well... That makes sense. Alicia Cole is Lauren Holt's lawyer. Now to figure out which ones were stolen. Oh, okay. So. Huh. It's dusty. 
<laughs> so, yeah, seems like they don't use technology much here. It's duck. This is a nice, like, <laughs> chunky old computer. I like it. <laughs> like, reminds you of your childhood now. A map of Salem. Oh, cool. Okay, so this window was clearly broken. No glass on the floor. So the window was broken from the inside. Or they cleaned the glass up. But I guess they, they didn't because they didn't know the code to get into this room. Hmm. Okay. And what were these bars over the window? So Nancy's thinking it was staged to look like a break-in. It's like not a very good staging. It's an amateur job right there. Okay. Um, can we look at this bulletin board? I don't think so. Oh. No. Oh, so Nancy will just... She'll just check it. No. Oh. No. Are we opening, like, every drawer? No. Okay. <laughs> well, this one's empty. No. No. Am I doing this right? This seems like no. too easy. We just have to Interesting. repetitively open the drawers. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so something's missing. I guess it's number six. Oh, Tegan Perry. Uh, heritage chart. I don't know why that's an evidence list. Is that... Yeah, that's interesting. No. No. Do we need to check all of these? Interesting. Oh, I guess so, because something else is missing. Uh, so, Tegan Perry's heritage chart. Oh, another Tegan Perry. Pictures. That's all it says. Okay. No. No. Interesting. Okay, something All else. All of the stolen evidence was linked to the accused witch's claim to Hathorn House. Right. Oh, so I guess Tegan must have been Tegan Perry testimony. She must have been gathering evidence. Yeah, on the accused witch's claim. Okay. I guess All of the stolen yeah, evidence okay, was so linked. We can stop. We found everything now. Interesting. Yeah. So, hmm, I wonder who we should talk to first about that. Uh, maybe the judge? Yeah, okay, let's go see if we can talk to Judge Danforth about it, and then I think we'll leave this part right here. Once we have a quick chat with him. Oh. Who has access to the evidence room? Oh, well that would be me and Alicia. Why do you ask? Just curious. Thanks. Because it looks like one of you I'll faked the break in. Um, is that all we can talk to him about? Yeah. I'll come back later. Okay. Uh, well, I guess our next steps might be talking to Alicia after knocking on her door, of course. And maybe to Tegan, because all of. Yeah, all of the evidence that was stolen was provided by Tegan. Yeah, so in the next part, I guess that's where we'll pick up. Okay, thanks for watching.